What's up guys, I'm Devin, I'm the Casual Futurist. I'm just keeping you up to date with some new cool AI stuff that I'm finding out. Uh, recently, AI now has the ability to predict and essentially read our mind. Uh, what was going on at Osaka University is that the scientists were using fMRI data and they were presenting it to AI. Uh, based on that, they were able to predict what we were seeing through the fMRI images alone. Well, I know this is crazy, but essentially all that's doing is the same thing that the brain already is. Uh, some could argue that the brain is just predicting the next thing that we're about to do. A lot of cognitive scientists uh, have come to agree on the same thought process. The brain automatically will predict what we're going to say, what we're going to do. It's just a faster way for the brain to be able to process. Now, a lot of people compare AI similar to the brain because it does the same thing. With LLMs, those primarily are using predict the next words or uh, predict the next left context given the right context. Um, in doing so, they argue that all AI essentially is doing is a different way to process the imagery that the brain is doing so. So they would take this information, they fed it into the AI with the fMRI systems, and they were able to uh, basically decode the images that were presented to it and re-illustrate these as their own um if it could see for itself, right? The images that are shown here are what the humans were observing. And then through those brain scans, the AI would then take that process and turn it into imagery. It's not perfect, but it's still pretty scary how close that they got. Questions now arise from this. Where do we go with the future in this regard? You know, um, don't be too freaked out. This is already going on. Uh, companies such as Neuralink, uh, and a lot of other AI um, systems. Uh, there's a few, but this is already standard in the industry. We're seeing paraplegics, people with spinal cord injuries, are being able to use this predict the next um, action that's going on. They're just utilizing this to help people with disabilities to be able to preserve and do better, uh, which is great and amazing, right? Um, I mean, I'm excited as a veteran too, uh, also as an athlete, you know, this is going to go a long way for stemming for more innovative, holistic approaches that we can take for AI for the future to come. Uh, don't worry, the major ethical concerns that are arising and coming from this is if AI can predict what we're about to think, who gets to own that data rights and that ownership? These are real questions that need to come and arise and know how does this play out for the average person? Uh, my name is Devin. I'm the Casual Futurist. If you guys are into this sort of content, uh, like, follow, and drop something in the comment, and I'll try to keep up with you guys. Uh, until next week, good luck.